In this video, we're going to talk about cytomegalovirus, which we call CMV. And if we wanted to be really precise, we should say human cytomegalovirus because there are other non-human cytomegaloviruses. But we're just going to say CMV. So CMV is HHV5, and it's a beta herpes virus. And it receives a lot less press than the other herpes viruses, and that's probably because the vast majority of cases are asymptomatic. However, it can do a number of things. It can cause a mono-like syndrome. It can cause serious infections in immunocompromised people, especially AIDS patients and transplant recipients. And it's also the most important congenitally acquired infection in the U.S. And we'll talk about all these things later. But although it receives less press, CMV is totally ubiquitous. Up to 90% of 80-year-olds have CMV antibodies. You can acquire it any time, especially early childhood and adolescence. So why is it so common? Well, that's because it's transmissible in so many different ways. It can be transmitted directly from person to person or via fomites in the environment. Sexual transmission occurs. The one thing it can't do is spread through the air like VZV because CMV does not get airborne. But it's shed from saliva, urine, cervicovaginal secretions, breast milk, even semen. It can be acquired prenatally, perinatally, postnatally. Breastfeeding is a mode of transmission. And then it can also be transmitted in blood transfusions and even more importantly in organ donation. So really almost every way that you could imagine. And when kids were studied in a daycare center, a third were secreting CMV in their urine, saliva, or both. So all in all, as you can imagine, because CMV is shed so commonly and from so many different places, it's really hard to prevent transmission. So let's quickly go over the pathogenesis of CMV. So it's secreted in almost every imaginable way. And then how does it infect a new host? Well, usually by getting in through the upper GI tract, the genitourinary tract, or the respiratory tract. So that's actually more common than the blood transfusion, transplant, breastfeeding kind of stuff that we talked about. And from there, it infects lymphocytes that traffic around the body, and it hitches a ride on those cells and spreads to multiple tissues. And whether it causes a symptomatic or asymptomatic infection, cell-mediated immunity is critical in controlling the virus. And then like a good herpes virus, CMV establishes latency. And the cells that it establishes latency in are myeloid progenitors in the bone marrow. And these can differentiate into circulating monocytes that will also be carrying the virus. So this is a virus that's great at immune evasion. It literally hides out within the immune system. And like other herpes viruses, since it's latent, it can reactivate and cause either symptomatic disease or asymptomatic infection, in which case it can still be spread to other people.